So, Mr. Wiseman, when did you become interested in space travel? When I saw my first space shuttle launch from the side of the road in Cocoa Beach in 2001, my ambition was sealed. And would you say that space travel is for everyone? Well, uh, no. But everyone is capable of being a star if they try their best in training and do what's required of them. We wanted to know more about this training, so we went to NASA, where the stars on the rise are found, like Jake Robertson. So, Mr. Robertson, when did you become interested in space travel? Wait, now? Wait. Wait, this is an interview? Okay, no, wait, 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 I'm not ready. Okay, I'm ready. Mr. Robertson, when did you become interested in space travel? Not as actual space trips into space, but I've always wanted to be a spaceman. Well, I work more with the machinery, not as much as on the actual trips into space. Though you don't travel to the stars, would you still consider yourself one? Would I say that I'm a star? Well, yes, I think I am in my own way. I work hard, but occasionally I make mistakes. Robertson, well, he's not really on the team. He's nice and everything, never been in space before although he's tried the internship route a few times. Maybe I'm not one of the astronauts, the megastars, some might call them, but I suppose I just have to remind myself that if I'm improving, I'm still a star in my own way, and maybe someday I'll get up there. That'd be sweet. <laughs> okay, Ruben, an interview? Oh, okay, well, sometimes I, I feel like a star. The lights, the attention from the media. It can be a fussy life being an astronaut. I get a lot of attention. How do you relax before a mission? Oh, I have this nice little lounge in my summer home. I never spend much time there, but I play a lot of video games and take time off for leisure when I can. Miss Williams, when will you be in outer space? I will um, be in outer space for eight days. It's really nerve wracking up there because it's a life or death situation, but it's really exciting. How do you know that you'll be okay? Why do you seem so calm? Well, we worked really hard in our training and we're super prepared for it and um, we're ready to go. What do you do to prepare? What do we do? Well, we do lots of training, but most importantly, we get a good healthy breakfast before takeoff and we get plenty of sleep as well. Time off is important, but being a star can mean a lot of advantages. Work doesn't always mean you have to abandon relaxation. Studying can be quite luxurious. Breakfast and a good night's sleep before the mission? Oh yes! Some astronauts think it's not important, but after a space mission, you never think that way again. It is vital. Would you say this advice goes for students on their star tests as well? Of course it is. Students taking tests are very similar to astronauts going into space. Shooting for the highest goal, challenging yourself, it's all per part of working hard and doing what you need to do to succeed. Testing should feel like a space mission. If you take it seriously, how can you fail? At Gilroy High School, megastars may be the goal, but improvement is always an important step to becoming one of the top scorers. So you're the rookie. How do you feel about your mission? Whoa. The word mission sounds so daunting. But how do you feel? Oh, well, great. Really great. I mean, I, I feel great. I've never been in outer space before. I, I, feel, I feel excited and ready to experience, you know, uh, a new experience. How often do you train? Every day since, like, the beginning of August, like, a whole school year almost. It's been a difficult journey because I get really motion sick. Do you really think you should be up there with the stars? Oh, sure I do. I know I can handle it if I believe in myself. 
That's what my mom tells me. Are students like astronauts? Are students like astronauts? Well, are they sick to their stomachs with nerves about the big day? The most important thing is knowing that it matters how high you reach, not just how high you are.